Hey, what's up everyone? It is 7 in the morning on Sunday, uh, December 30th. Um, I didn't get called for a trip this time. I actually put in for like nine bids um, yesterday for nine trips and I ended up getting this uh, two-day trip. So I'll be flying uh, Boston to Fort Lauderdale, Fort Lauderdale to uh, Nashville and then we'll end the night in Fort Lauderdale tonight at like 7.30. Uh, I'm gonna be posting a video you're gonna see that video obviously before this one of my first day trip so if you haven't seen that go check it out and then i'll be back on new year's eve i have one flight out it's at 7 30 p.m and i get back to boston around like 10 30 p.m so i'll be able to get home and uh spend time with the family on new year's eve uh shanley and i actually attempted to bid for trips together so we were together on new year's but unfortunately it didn't work out uh, we both bid for nine of the trips and uh, she ended up getting a three-day trip and I got a two-day trip so didn't work out this time but uh, we learned some cool things uh, we learned how to navigate the system a little better so overall the processes that we learned are gonna help us out down the road so we should be able to start flying together a lot more so uh, I'm gonna head to the airport at the 850 report time it's 750 right now so I'm an hour early I like to get here a little bit early so I can go get a coffee or um, just relax so I'm not like stressing about the flight so uh, I'll see you guys when we get there uh, we are in Fort Lauderdale right now um, we had a good flight it was uh, three hours down nothing too crazy I ended up running off the plane getting a cold brew I had tea this morning nothing too crazy as well uh, I was gonna eat my lunch I brought steak and eggs but I guess they weren't aboard in two minutes so uh, trying to keep it healthy, get back on the regimen because the next health challenge is start eight week transformation challenge is going to be starting here in January. So if you guys are interested in joining the challenge uh, for a chance to win fifty thousand, it's you sign up for free and it's free. Um, you don't have to buy the products or anything. Um, if you do want to buy the products, obviously I get like a commission, um, but I don't force it on anybody. I educate you on um, nutrition, fitness and uh, why I take certain, certain supplements. I wanna join, let me know. My email's down below, shoot me an email. But yeah, so first flight was good, three hours. We get a flight to Nashville right now. And then on the flight from Nashville back to uh, Fort Lauderdale, we actually have a kid with the uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation that has stage four cancer. So um, we're gonna do our best to accommodate him and make sure he has the best experience like possible. So go Patriots. See you out a bit. Uh, we're in Nashville right now. Um, we're waiting for one of the tray tables to be fixed. So I'm actually just chilling right here. But I want to give you guys a little tip for when you're flying. Bring like sanitary wipes because these tray tables are disgusting. Uh, I'm gonna wipe mine down and show you how dirty it is. I don't know if you can see that those black marks, but it's really gross. So make sure to wipe your tables down. Um, I see a lot of people like sleeping on them, so sanitary wipes are clutch for when you're traveling, especially with uh, the winter and the sick season. Tomorrow, my main goal is to, again, work out, uh, get some good food, and hang out at the pool, get some sun. All right, what's up, everyone? Um, so I just showered, um, set my room up. So actually, what I'm going to do, since I'm not going to go to the gym today, um, I just ordered food from the sushi spot. Um, I'll tell you all about that in a second, but first thing I wanna do is I wanna show you how I always set my hotel room up. So uh, some people might think it's like a waste of time because I'm only here for like less than 24 hours. The reason why I set my hotel room up like right when I get here is because I'd like to make it feel like it's home. You know, I don't like to kind of live out of a suitcase. So I kind of put everything in place so that I don't have to like scrounge around and look for something and it's already so first things first this is like my hygiene kit um, i like to have uh, a face wash this is the hair gel i use um the olive oil it's pretty awesome um if, especially if i'm shaving um, i like to put lotion on my face especially in the winter to keep hydrated and moisturized hairbrush deodorant um, i usually use axe but this was cheaper so i got that and then crest white over to the closet so i like to hang up my clothes now i won't iron everything until i'm getting ready to leave tomorrow so i'll just hang up my coat uh, my new shirt my new pants i'm gonna wear this orange tie tomorrow 
and then my vest, and then I got my shoes down there with my socks. Now here we go to the room. Um, look over here, I got my laptop set up, um, headphones for the gym in the morning, the workout cup, um, I have my watch plugged in, I got my iPad plugged in, and then um, got my mouse, and then these are some essentials that I always bring. So as you can tell, I didn't really pack well this trip. Um, reason being so is because I'm not really on a strict eating plan right now. Um, but I'm still trying to eat healthy, so I always make sure every trip I bring my RP Greens 50. This is a way for me to get my veggies in and kind of boost my immunity because I'm constantly flying and interacting with hundreds of people throughout the day. Uh, same with my Micro Factor Pack, um, mainly because it's getting on the micronutrients. And most days, as a flight attendant, you're going to realize that you aren't able to eat. So um, if you're able to eat a little meal before work, take your Micro Factor Pack, that's good. Take this before work as well. Um, I always get protein. This is a great quick source of uh, some food and energy that I have on the plane as well. Um, I just got these. They're definitely not the healthiest, but they taste amazing. Um, Red Bull. This was given to me by the girlfriend. I'm actually probably going to drink this tonight because I'm going to be editing a video. Alright, now for these RX bars. A lot of people don't like these RX bars, but I actually love them. Um, specifically, the chocolate coconut. Um, the maple sea salt probably my second favorite. Let me go over here. Um, I always set my suitcase up. Everything's kind of out. I got my gym clothes on now for tomorrow. That's my cooler. And then in the fridge. I don't have anything in the fridge, but I'll put all that in there or whatever I can. <laughs> and some leftover food. Uh, since I'm an old man, I got a CPAP machine, so I always bring this with me. Um, fill it up with water set it up so when I hop in bed it's done. All right, so that is how I set my room up. Um, it probably takes me like all of six or seven minutes, nothing too crazy. And it um, brings a comfort to me. So it makes me feel like I'm more at home rather than, you know, living out of a suitcase all the time. So that's why I do that. And check this out. Got the king bed again. So king bed tonight, super pumped. Probably just gonna sleep on one side like usual. Um, right now, I'm actually just waiting for my food to come. I ordered uh, sushi, uh, pad thai, and then a couple um, sushi rolls. Uh, my goal was to be a little more consistent with uh, my video posting, and that's what I told you. I told you next month, um, January, my goal is to post a video a day, whether it be a video for that day or I go live. I'll do like a live Q&A. Um, I know I have like a three-day uh, trip planned with the girlfriend for our one-year anniversary, so... I'll probably be going live on those days just because it takes a little time to edit and record. And then I'll maybe do like a video of like our one year anniversary trip after the trip so we can enjoy it and uh, spend some time together. But it'll be nice to record the events and capture some footage to reflect back on next year. So stay tuned, <laughs> stay tuned for uh, future content and a little more consistency uploading. Also, if you're more interested in just like the fitness aspect of um the fitness or the motivational post stuff um uh, be sure to go follow my instagram which should be like right there um i post a lot of stuff on like uh workout tutorials tips on uh different workouts and then uh just some motivational stuff so all right so the food is here um the place that i ordered the food from was called uh kubo asian fusion um, i ended up ordering a medium spicy pad thai with a fried egg um, a spicy tuna roll and then a salmon roll so let me show you so i ended up ordering it from yelp which i think is why it was so expensive after like a delivery fee and taxes and like a tip it was 35 bucks which is insane but i'm starving um i didn't feel like ordering anything else i have my mindset on sushi and pad thai so i'm gonna eat it um so let's test this tuna roll out tuna roll ready Put in earth. Now we get the salmon roll. I think it's packed. All right, this one's my favorite. Salmon roll tastes not as good as the tuna roll. So go for the tuna roll if you get one. I think each roll costs like four bucks, which is, I was thinking it was gonna come with like three to four pieces, but basically if you cut this in slices, it'd be three to four pieces. So well worth the money. And the pad thai was like 15 bucks. 
um, which is huge. Probably won't be able to finish all that. Um, definitely not the best pad tie I've had, but it's edible. Yeah, so this place had like a 4.2 star rating. I'd probably give it like a 3.5-ish rating just because uh, the pad tie is not as flavorful as I expected. Same with the tuna roll, but the salmon roll is really good. Oh, flip that. <laughs> tuna roll is good. Salmon roll is a hype.